presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and you YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. You either live in love or live a fear, folks. I've done both. Living in love is a lot easier. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 592, Nasdaq's off 378, S&P's off 88, gold contract up $2.30, trading at 1898 an ounce. You got silver down 19 cents, $23.47 an ounce, late sweet crude. Up 289, 101.43 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading up 13 ticks at 120 flat, 30-year up 27 at 142.12, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 568 ticks, trading 102.320. King Dollar's really close to that high, folks. The King Dollar's going after this 102.979 area. And, uh, you know, the way interest rate structure goes, man, the bottom line how they push those bonds, the more the dollar is going to get stronger against all other currencies. Euro is at 106. The yen is trading at 127.61. And the British pound is at 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's on, going on in your world. In the world of TFNN, let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave, folks, is the head of product at Direction. Also a managing director, and let me tell you something, folks. you got to be protecting yourself because this is a rough market. Dave Mazza, how you doing? We'll get him. One second. I, I see you, Dave. One second. Your voice. You got him, Al? Can you hear me? I got you, brother. Awesome, man. So, Dave, <laughs> I, first off, thank you for coming on. We have quite a market here. Um, and, you know, the, the bottom line is that it's been a one-way market on the way down. And, I mean, you know, as you come over to our website, folks, you, the direction banner's right there. You can hit that banner, and you can take a look at the different types of products that, um, you know, direction has. Uh, we haven't had a market like this in a, quite a while, Dave. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. And, and look, I think one of the last times I was on, you were talking about sort of the ABC structure yes. uh, that we were seeing with the S&P 500. And I mean, has that not played out? But uh, bottom line, so kudos to that call. But bottom line is that this market is having a hard time finding some footing. And I think what's interesting is that financial conditions, which is a measure of, you know, credit spreads, equity markets, what's happening with the Fed, you know, to try to quantify all that really aren't yet at a stress point. So, you know, I think when you're hearing calls for a further correction of seven, eight, maybe 10%, it, it, it's not implausible. So I think this environment uh, is one where people have to stay nimble. Uh, and particularly just today, you know, the inflows that we're seeing into SPDN, yes. which is our inverse 1X fund for the S&P 500, which is kind of a, that direct hedging tool, um, are, are really high. You know, again, logical, people want to take some risk off the table. But I think it's hard directionally 
to, to identify sort of what areas of the market um, are, go are gonna do well going forward, which is I think why we're starting to see with fears of 50 basis points, maybe 75 rate hikes, people just taking their chips off the table and waiting until we get to this Fed, this May meeting, uh, and in the meantime, dealing with all these earnings that are coming out. There's no doubt. And when Dave was just talking about that one-to-one -one ETF, folks, on the s and this is something that you really want to understand. What happens is that, you know, you don't have to hedge your whole portfolio, but what happens, you know, let's say whether it's 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, you can say that, okay, even on a daily basis, you're going delta neutral. That's my point more than anything, folks, okay? And, that you, you only want to make sure you understand what you're doing. But the, the fact of the matter is a Delta neutral strategy right now is not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, you can look at it as an insurance policy. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah, no, it's a great way to put it. The, and the other interesting thing I'll say is that and someone used this in a conversation I had earlier today. It, it's you're going long to go short in this particular case. Right. So to your point, if you have and most people are generally net long, right? Yes. Um, particularly, particularly if you're trading and it's a way where I can maybe continue to have the positions I want to have on, whether they're individual stocks or just the broad-based index, and, and, and kind of use part of my portfolio to hedge out some risk. Uh, and, and that tool, uh, and giving you that one-to-one -one inverse exposure on it, again, it's still, a daily, it's still a daily product. People need to understand that. Exactly. But to give you that kind of daily hedge can be pretty effective because, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's hard to read the tea leaves in this particular market um, because just the number one, all the uncertainty that exists geopolitically, uh, uh, coupled with these macro headwinds that we're facing and what the Fed may do. And earnings have been good, right? right net net, um, but maybe not good enough really to get that confidence back. We'll see again. I mean, ask anyone this week's going to be super important with Alphabet tonight, Amazon, Apple later in the week. Uh, and if, frankly, if they're not shooting the lights out, you know, I think that the negative momentum and the bears are going to kind of continue to be in charge here, at least until we get to that Fed meeting. No, there's no doubt. Now, I want to change gears on you, and I'm not sure whether you can speak about this, but if we can just speak about that, I was, um, there's been a lot of articles out, actually, that Direction is going to beat uh, the other two larger funds with ETFs and leverage ETFs inside of the Bitcoin market. Well, they may, okay, because the, the bottom line is, is that, uh, so is this something you can talk about? On the air, maybe. Yes. So we fi we filed for uh, a, uh, a, f a fund that effectively op uh, would offer the in inverse exposure uh, to, uh, to to Bitcoin. Right. Uh, can't speak to if, if that is going to be available or when that's going to be available. Um, but you know, a similar idea. And I think in this market, it's been difficult to find anything to hold up well. Yes. Uh, you know, B Bitcoin has been challenged. Right. Uh, Oil is obviously having a bit of a better today, but there's been days where commodities have been whacked just alongside. Oh stocks. yeah. So, what we're thinking of is continuing to, to provide tools really for tactical traders to either have that ability to, to, to outperform, but also increasingly trying to bring tools for people to kind of hedge their portfolios. Right. And this would, be, this would be one of those similar to kind of we talked about SPDN. So traders, you know, stay nimble, but stay active because uh, it's going to be kind of, uh, I think, rough sailing, at least for the next couple of weeks. No, exactly. And listen, congratulations, because that was a great move. And I, I, we're going to get this explained on the air because pretty cool, man. Really cool. You have a great one, a safe one, Dave. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from uh, yesterday. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank Have a safe you. one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 718. You get the NASDAQ off 448. S&Ps are off 107. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but you get another intraday ABC structure on the way down. You're blowing away the B point. You're blowing away with volume. That sets up another 50 points down the S&P. So we'll see if this uh, shakes out in the next 40 minutes. But that's what we're doing right now. You're blowing this thing away. That's saying uh, the price projection there is 41.25. We go to the NQs. I mean, I didn't do the NQs yet, but I'm, I'm more than likely that you normally don't get one and don't with the other one that's going to follow through. Okay, so same setup here. Oh man, this is intense. Okay, so this one here, you're talking about 5.30. Now you're talking about a 434A to B. That's going to get you 2,800. No, 12,800. <laughs> yeah, you're at 13,065. This is fast and furious, man. Protect yourself the best you can because this is not, you know, these picture this, folks. I mean, these rates, <laughs> the, the rates themselves, you, you can see that the bond market's not even moving, man. And you're down like big. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN, and you're going to see this right under, um, sorry, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit that button, and you are off to the races, and you'll understand how this market works. Basil Chapman, how you doing? Well, off to the races. I'm not sure what we call this one. This <laughs> is on the race downhill slowly. It is. It, this is a bobsled going downtown, man. It, it is. And what's really interesting is I'd shown this chart um, to subscribers this morning, and I said, uh, we're going to have to watch this. Let me see if I can find the chart. I know exactly what you said because I was driving, and what Basil said, folks. And remember, this this program's archived. Well, this program's archived because he was giving it 90 minutes. I was cracking up, Basil, when you're saying I'm giving this down 90 minutes with that price, and unfortunately, it, it broke it. Right? Yeah. So. And basically, what I was saying is that the pattern of the candles of the 24. Uh, 24th of January, Yes. the candle of the 24th of February, and yesterday's candle, and I'll just see if I can do this, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, so basically what we're looking at is 
that the candle I call the Chapman Wave Roman candle that is in the, oh, I don't even want to talk about it, in the S&P monthly chart, but it's red, when it's green and at lows, you can get a really strong rally, which is what we got on the 24th of January. You see this big green candle where you've got a tiny little wick, a long wick at the bottom, and then it closes a half to two-thirds off the low. And then we got that rally from 33,150 to 35,824, and then it plunged again and made us exactly the same candle on the 24th of February called Chapman Wave Roman Candle, a little a tiny little wick. Long body, but a green one, and the rule of thumb is how how quickly it can close above the left side high. And look what happened. Eventually, it went to the high of 35,372. Peak D pulls back. Made that Thursday, I think it was this last Thursday, big spike to 35,492 and plummeted down. And then yesterday, we had the same candle, but I, three times in a row without great success. So I said to subscribers, we've got to be... We actually went along yesterday morning. We got out of it this morning for a profit. And I said, let me, I can take this away now. And then I said, if there is a move below the, and this is what you were talking about, below 30, 35,590 yes. that, holds, uh, that holds for about 90 minutes, watch out because we could test the low of the day. Well, the low so far today is 33,312. Yesterday's low was 3,323. So that's exactly what we did. This is not, and you know, you were talking about uh, the, the closing bell. Immediately after that, we have, uh, does Microsoft, I know Google, but does Microsoft also announce straight away? They do. It, so, it I mean, time. It is literally within seconds. You'll see Microsoft and Google come out with it. And of course, what ends up happening, folks, the futures are open for another 15 minutes. Yeah, so it's going to affect the market for sure. And because the futures are open, that's very different to if you have this overnight slump or big yes. move up. And then the, by the morning, anything can happen by the time the market opens. But when this, when the, when you've got 15, <laughs> it's a lifetime, 15 it is. minutes. So the question I was going through this morning is, for me, this is for my subscribers to only call. This is one of our, our biggest uh, cash positions we've had in a very long time. Uh, we, we have very few posi long positions. The, 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 ones we, the, the latest ones that we have are actually holding quite nicely, even in this market right now. But what, what I wanted to do is to show them that if the XLP, which is the S&P Select staples, starts to fall here, that's been the leader because it's defensive, not defense like Raytheon or Lockheed right. Mott, but defensive, Procter & Gamble, etc. If you lose that, I, oh, so that's the one thing. So I'm, I'm a little worried on that. That, that bias is to say we've had support. But now you're getting fewer and fewer sectors that are. We had the support of the uh, the finance, the uh, the oil, the uh, chevrons of of the world, uh, helping the Dow. But all of a sudden we might lose that. So I, the reason why I went through uh, some of the um, like Microsoft and uh, Google this morning is the chart pattern. This is they're on the cusp. Right? You know, you always talk about ice. Yes. They're on ice. I mean, 270 round number on the 8th of March for Microsoft goes to a peak D. That's what we're always looking for in the Chapman wave for a buy mode. And then it plunges, it comes down. And yesterday's low was 270.77. So my, the thinking that I had was if Microsoft announces good news, and maybe they say they're buying back whatever number of shares, and it helps. I don't know what they can say about the outlook, and that's really the big issue right now. And Google, they're going to have to come up with something absolutely amazing. Um, and Google's the same thing. Look at the chart, this, this arch formation. Look at that. We broke it. This is the dreaded H that I always talk about. Yes. So all I'm saying is that I've been saying for weeks and weeks, raise cash, have cash handy. This is a market that is highly vulnerable. We, we have found really nice stocks that are good, short-term, good percentage gains. But I can't, I don't see anything right now that I can feel, I can, you know, latch on to and say, hey, I'm gonna, I don't care if it pulls back 6%, 8 but I, it, it, things can fall 15 to 20% here because we saw that in the, the huge big caps. So while looking out, I think, so far, I'm still in the, in the camp that says we've used up a tremendous amount of time. I mean, if you look at the, the Dow, it's been in a consolidation with all the bad news that's going on. When you go from 36, let's call it 37,000, down to 32,000, 
we just, you know, at 33,350, we're still in the range. So it, the whole thing is if we've, if, you, if we've usurped time rather than price, because under these conditions, you'd say, I can understand if the market was down 18% or 20%. We aren't there yet. So far, it's held well. This is going to be the key. Do we see Microsoft and Google and Amazon and Apple this week save the day and at least use time rather than price? Oh, whew, by Get that life jacket afternoon. out. The real question is, who has that life jacket, man? No doubt. Well, you have to you have to be careful right now, yes. You have a great one, a safe one, Basil. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 700. The Nasdaq is off 447. S&Ps are off 103. And uh, so let's we got to go to Google and we got to go to Microsoft, you know, and see how these babies are performing. So what's intriguing here is that, you know, Google on a daily, you know, is not that bad, meaning that, you know, we came down hard, meaning you, you came down, you came down into this uh, 20 free 82 area three days ago and you're getting less volume that being said though guess what i'm going with the abc structure on the way down folks because it's a confirmed abc structure on the way down you broke the b point you broke it with volume that's saying lower prices are coming at us so that's my take on what google's going to do after the close now yesterday looking at microsoft it looked like microsoft could bounce a bit 
Now, Microsoft, no doubt, is coming into its low. That being said, though, you are coming in with some juice here. So if I take this, put this, yeah, this is not cool, man. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think this is going to be a disaster. You got 270. We hit 270.106, and you haven't hit 270. See, this is a problem. And you, depend, well, we'll see what ends up happening after the close, but I want to show you something here. You get a high volume low at 270. We got down to thus far 270.77. Well, guess what? That's not 270. And the way this is set up, it's like, are you kidding me, man? You can jump the creek. And if you jump the creek, this is going to be a real problem, big time. Uh, Tesla. So Tesla, guess what? Good old Elon. The bottom line is that he got the deal done. That being said, his shareholders don't like it, man. Look at this sale, man. 39 million, they blew away everything. 39 million shares today, down $111. And Tesla has a high volume low laying out at 700. And my take is that's where, that's where this is going. What's gonna be intriguing about the takeover of Twitter is that my take, number one, is that you know, he paid way too much for it. Because what happens, pitch this, we're in a down market. He just, Twitter's the only stock that's up, right? So he overpaid for the deal. And simultaneously, no one, well, the bankers know exactly what he's doing with his shares. Realistically, he's probably getting one third margin on his shares. I don't think the banks would give him 50. If they give him 50 on his shares, man, they, the banks, uh, he's gonna be in trouble. But that's where he come up with the, the money. That being said, when you take a look at Tesla, so watch this, because if you don't hold the 700 on Tesla, this gets pretty dicey, man. So bring this up and put it on a four-year weekly. And what you're going to see here is that once, once Tesla gets into 884, and we're at 886 right now, you're talking a whole different range. You're talking a range that goes out on a 539. Now, if that's what you get, man, you know, when I look at Tesla, my take is that Tesla can get down to like 502. And the way I do this, of course, is that when you get a market that is going south and Tesla, no doubt, has gone up without volume since $695. That's, I mean, that, the rest of that, there's no volume on the way up. But guess what? We know how this goes. You can still go up. But when these pull back, they pull back to the last day or last week with volume. And guess what? You know, one of the prices is $695. That would make sense because there's 700 on the other side. You break that, though, bottom line is that you're down to 390, uh, not 398, 502. So you're talking about some uh, intensity here, folks, uh, in a very large way when we start talking um, equities. That, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, it's, it's, it's a problem. There's no doubt. Let's go take a look at, uh, a couple of the, we'll go to Exxon Mobil. A couple of targets want to look at Exxon Mobil. Uh, Exxon here. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mess with the stock. Exxon looks like it's going to set up an ABC down. So what you also have here is this, this is a repricing of assets period right across the board. You know, yeah. Oil can be at a hundred dollars. Guess what? everyone is going to be paying less for an asset. You know, this looks to me like a pure ABC down. A to B is set up. Looks like the C just got set up today. And if it is, it's uh, 89 to 79. It's a 10 point. That gets you 74. That's probably, that's probably the bottom of this consolidation. It probably threw it into a consolidation. That's what I expect that uh, more than likely happened out here. Now let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And this is going to be a high volume market today. Um, you got advanced micro down five, five and a half dollars. Apple's up five point five and a half dollars. Tesla's the big one, 111. Um, Warner Brothers is off a buck 60. You got Microsoft down 10. They're selling Microsoft. Uh, the GE's down uh, nine and a half dollars. That's a big number for GE. GE's, uh, that's over 11%. Uh, AMC's off uh, 140. <sighs> that's a lot of selling, man. And now what is you're going to see happening, folks, is that the because of the acceleration down uh, and because of the levels that we're at right now, um, there's unfortunately going to be a lot of folks 
that are starting to get a little worried. That just accelerates it down. You know, that, that's, the, that's the reality. So if we look at the SPY, you're going to see right now, that's a high volume low laying on a SPY at 410. You're at 417. When you get this close, bottom line, it wants to get hit. If we break that area, we'll put this back up here for a second. You're going to see it's a very dangerous market, man. It's a very dangerous market. The reason it's such a dangerous market is this, folks is that we traveled nonstop from 2006 all the way up to 2000 and not 2006 sorry man 2020 the the pandemic low you know look at this i mean the spy was 218 we got up to a price of 479 and we've talked about this before if you do it's just do a normal retracement so picture a normal retracement in a bull market is basically 50 percent well guess what this downdraft right here has only done a 23% retracement. So a 38% retracement, which is a normal retracement, brings the SPY to 380. A 50% retracement, which you can do and still be in a bull, you know, I mean, if you're a longer term bull, <laughs> bottom line brings you down to 349. You know, if we take a look at the NDX 100, we bring the NDX 100, we take a look at that, we do the same type of exercise on the NDX 100. What we have, you got, let's see, take this, put this on a weekly. Set, see that, this is what's pretty cool. On the, on the NDX, what you have is that you're coming into a little support. The problem is, is that you got a high volume low that we've been talking about for a while, which is 297. And I expect we're gonna go after that right now, tonight. You know, you're 318, well, tonight and tomorrow. Because you break this, more than likely what you have, you got a problem, that's the bottom line. Because if you break 297, guess what? You know, you're, you're, you're going not only lower, you're going a lot lower. So, this is like insane. It's not insane, I'm just, I know how many people when you when you ha have a run that has gone this long, um, you know you only need a 20, 25 percent pullback because unfortunately people level themselves on the way up. And guess what? It feels like a lot more than a 20 percent pullback. Dow Industrials right now down 715. Nasdaq's off 450. S and P's are off 107. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 730. Uh, Nasdaq's off uh, 465. S&P's are down a buck ten. Uh, let me show you. Uh, we'll do the SPY as well as the Qs with that ABC down because this can make this ABC down coming into the close. So you can see, I, I got the SPY up here first. See that bar right there? That bar, that's the bar we took out the low. You had uh, 2.5 million on the 10 minute and we were taking out 1.6. Uh, you, you take the top of that there with the SPY 428, that's your A, your B is 418, you get 10 bucks, your C is out there at 421, that's 411. That's where this baby wants to go. That's on the SPY. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX right here, you're going to see same type of setup. Here's, here's the B, that's where it broke it. You had 2.3 million going into 1.1. Bottom line, you get your A point set up there at uh, 329. Your B is out here at uh, 319, 10 bucks. And your C is uh, 321, which gets you at 311. So, and you don't have capitulation yet. Because this is what normally happens in a market like this, folks, is that you're down like this, right? And then it takes another leg down. And, you know, we haven't seen that yet. You know, th this is, there's only been. Well, one full leg down today. You build a cause for the second leg. We're on the second one right now. We'll see if it goes to fruition. Um, but that's, that's kind of when you know that everyone simultaneously is selling at the same time. Like, we, we did get another big uh, down tick. We got a t down tick of uh, minus 17-something, I think. Yeah, 1743. So it's, get, it's getting there. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, you can see this down tick. Yeah, so yesterday we had a down tick of 16, 15. Oh, where is that 17? It's interesting. It says 17 at the top, but I've only got a 1237. Huh. It must be in, well, it would make sense that you get a 17. I mean, that's... That would that would make sense, you know. When when you're getting into bottoms, or at least short-term bottoms, what you're going to see is you're going to see the aspect that you know you reject lower price, you bounce dramatically on the way up. Um, it's too late to do that today. I can tell you that. 15 minutes, it doesn't fly like that unless you're going to have Powell come in front of a microphone and say that, hey, listen, we're not going to go up in the race. We're only kidding, and we know that that's not going to happen. So. Um, you know, I think it's a repricing. It's a repricing of all assets. That's how, that's how this is shaking out. We go back to Google for a second, and, you know, Google looks like it's going to close at the low of the day. It's, it's, been, it's been moving around. Um, you know, you, you've had, you, you, got a little, you got a little pop. We got a little pop, actually, right when I come on the air. It popped up to this uh, 2446. It just, it just gave up 24 points. Pretty intense. Uh, Microsoft and you know a couple of the tigers and tigresses if you haven't been in our trading room folks check it out it's only a dollar go to the front page of TFNN we got a great trading room we got a lot of tigers a lot of tigresses a lot of people that have been in this market for a long time and know what they're doing okay we know that there's no crystal ball but guess what we're in the, all in the probability business and the more ideas that are out there we're all smart people you can take that 
idea into your head, decide what you want to do with it, and go from there. And what they were just talking about, I, I bet this is going to be the deal. They were talking about the aspect that Microsoft and Google will probably come out and say, hey, listen, I got a large buyback. Good luck to you. Great, you get a large buyback. Because guess what? You're going to be buying it all the way down. That's how they blow their cash. You know, if that's what we get, that's, that's how... You know, their job is to keep the stock up, too. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that being said, though, it doesn't look to me like um, it's going to hold. We take a look at Microsoft. So this is the number that Microsoft's going to be looking for. Microsoft's going to be looking for a top-line number of $49 billion, and that is a contraction. Last quarter, they did 51 And then they're going to be looking to take $2.19 to the bottom line. Google. We're going to take a look at Google. Google is going to be looking to take to the top line... Right now, Google's trading at $2,400. they are got to look for the top line of $56 billion and $25. And you can see, kind of see in both of these numbers, which is pretty wild, both of these numbers, uh, well, maybe they do, yeah, they probably do the best in the fourth quarter. That would make sense because you got Christmas, you got uh, buying. In both these cases, they are seeing, you know, a contraction of gross revenue. And, you know... Dollar-wise, mm, $25. Next time, they, uh, next quarter, they look at $27. I think it's going to be a problem. That's the bottom line. So let's see. Their P.E., well, look at this. Estimated P.E. is 115. 1222. I, I got I to see what the difference is in this Bloomberg. Well, so what happens here, if you watch on Bloomberg, it says estimate P.E. 1222.20, but then... Earnings per share is 115. I don't get that. We take a look at Microsoft. So Microsoft, that's running at an estimate PE of 28, but you can see the PE 9. Oh. It's going to no doubt be quite a deal. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI, okay? And we know they threw everything out. Uh, what I want to see here is exactly how much volume we got yesterday because both the XAU as well as the HUI going back to where they broke out from. So we had out here yesterday, you did volume out here of uh, 42 million and you're going into 60. So that's cool. Okay, so well, if you're a gold bull, this is what you want today. I want to see, well, we'll bring this up in a sec because I want to show you how this goes. So right there, see this is cool what's happening. And what we'd like to see is that yesterday you did 60 million, 42 million rather, in the XAU. So you want tomorrow, we get this at 8 o'clock tonight. So you want to see a contraction of that because you're still going into a higher volume level, which is 60. Then, you know, this just looks to me like it's going to hit the low 145.01, 142. No, 142.01. I love it. 142. So we hit it. Okay, so this is the type of test that you're looking for when you're looking for test. You're looking that it actually got to the price point. This, this got under yesterday's low by one penny. Now what we need is a rejection of price and lighter volume. If we go to the Gold Bugs Index, we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. I suspect this is going to be set up the same way. Okay, this is going to be cool. Okay, we're going to we take a look at this. And... It's going to be the same number, yeah, which is cool. Okay, so yesterday we came in with 30 million going into 48. So that's how it works. That's cool. And let's go to Newmont and Gold, I mean, um, Barrick, because that'll tell us if we're going to get lighter volume. So, yes, are we, oh, this is good, man. Okay, so you had volume of 9 million yesterday on new march you only get 3.8 today that's really good because that's say the reason i'm looking at these two folks these two are the highest um waiting structures the same deal with uh barrack barrack had uh, 32 million yesterday only at 19. so that's telling me we get the volume straight now in the xau the hui now what you need however is that you need a rejection of lower price Dow Industrials right now down 733, Nasdaq's up 470, S&P's off 110. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow is down 737, Nasdaq's up 479, S&Ps are off 111. And you know, we were just talking about the Tigers then uh, on Discord. It's a buck, folks, okay? You want a great idea? One of the Tigers out here, PPLT. You want to hide somewhere? This is a great place to hide, folks. This is the platinum market, okay? When you take a look at this, I'll show you what's happening here, though. So this is the platinum ETF. You're trading at $85.88. So these are the ones I love, and what I mean by that is that what you have is that we, we take a look at this. This just come down in the last three months from 109 to 85, okay? You have the high volume low that it had to go after. That, that low, the high of the low is $85.58, the bottom's 83. Well, you can see what ended up happening yesterday. The bottom line, that volume there is 293,000, guess what? You went into that with 161. Then you take off. That's on the daily, and that's telling me that this thing wants to get all the way back up to the high, high which is 109. That's the first part. I'll put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see on the weekly, it's the same type of setup, that you came back to the bottom of where it broke topside going all the way back in November of 2020. You know, dangerous where it went, no doubt, but bottom line, guess what? You rejected lower price on the daily, on the weekly, and my take is that that wants to go higher. And, and you know, that is, if we take a look at platinum in general, what you're going to see is that, yeah, this has already got toasted, which that's what you want, folks. I mean, if you're going to go somewhere, you want something that's already pulled back. And then what you put on top of that is that, okay, are we in inflation? Are the metals going to move? That's going to be a personal choice for you guys, for, you know, what it is. But you can see when we take a look at this platinum, in the last uh, three months, just went from 1185, you're at 925. Bottom line, 
it's, you know, it's a bottom of the consolidation and you've rejected the bottom of the consolidation. So it's pretty cool. And, and I appreciate it, Frank. Thanks so much. Thanks to all you tigers and tigresses in there. Telling you folks, get over to TFNN, hit the, go into services. You're going to see Discord, Tiger's Den for dollar. I'm telling you, it's pretty cool. It really is. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. As I do the update, right at 3, bottom line, we'll see if, if Google comes out, uh, Microsoft comes out. I'll get you the numbers. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.